more so like the spirit that's coming. The you know? Holy Spirit, like which spirit, what brand is it? Yeah, well, honestly, the Holy, the Holy Spirit is only given to the chosen people that come from the 12 tribes of Israel. So if you if your lineage goes back to, in America, that's not, what, what, that's not what Jesus said. Well, his name ain't Jesus. Yes, right. His name ain't Yeshua either. Yeah. And then he, when, he, when, he, when he came, he said he only came for the Israelite city. What, what did Jesus say? Since Jesus you know. said to pagans, to Gentiles, and to Jews. All right, who were the Gentiles? Are you guys filming me? Of course. This, we're at camp. This is our This is for if you get the truth that people are here to know right. this is for oh, the truth. Okay. You know? okay. We right. yeah, we just this is what we do. Okay. Yeah. We have okay. to for our protection, you know. Yep. So edification for the for the for the yeah. brothers. Jesus, if you don't want to be filmed, I won't put you on there. Jesus came from the root of Jesse, right? Yep. Right. Which proves that Which there David was no David such David thing David. as immaculate conception. Right. If he come from the root of Jesse, then there was no immaculate conception. But that's that's not what the Bible says. Though. What does the Bible say? Matthew 15 and 24. Okay. It's Matthew 15 and 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Right. Yeah, but He's, he says to the Samaritan woman at the well, he says, drink of, drink of my living water and you shall be free. He also says to the Roman centurion, who was a pagan. No. Now he tells him, that he had the most faith that of anyone he ever met. Okay. Him and the woman at the well. Okay. And neither of them were Jews, and he said that they'll both enter the kingdom. Now, do you know where the word Jew come from? He didn't say that the woman at the well was not. No. She was a Samaritan. Okay, but do you know that's Jew. because, you, like, once again, we're both in America, right? We're both Americans, right? Yeah. Okay, but but you both come from two different nationalities, right? Sure, yeah. Okay, so that's the difference. Just because you live in that land of Samaria don't right. mean that you're that everybody is Samaria. I come that, over to New York and come back here and uh, they see I'm acting different. You say, man, you act like a New Yorker. Well, I can be from China and call myself Chinese. In that, in that same, I'm Chinese. Right. I understand. In that same story, she says to Jesus that, you know, you Jews practice, you Jews know of God. And, and he tells her, you know, you don't know what you practice, right. but we Jews do know who we worship. Right. So he says to her that she's not a Jew. Right. So well, outright, that's why, like, that's why I asked you, you know, what do the words you come from? Uh, I guess Judaism, which is the tribe of Judah. Okay, right. Right the tribe there. Of Judah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Was Jew is just short for Jew, Judah. Judah. Okay. Yeah, the now, tribe, yeah. That's, Which was one of the countries, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, but they go to think the, the term Jew just was Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Yeah. That was in that area. Yeah. So you have to find out, all right, say he was from the tribe of Judah, right? Or the, the salvation is of the Jews, right? If we just said that Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, that's that's all who was in that area. Now you gotta know that where the other tribes was, was at. That's what he was. That's what he was talking about. That woman wasn't from any of these lineages. When you go up to that, uh, yeah, he did. But yeah, he opened the kingdom of heaven to her. All right, well, I'm gonna ask you this: How many guests are there in the kingdom of heaven? Aren't there seven? No, it's twelve. Twelve. Yeah, and that's all for the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay. okay. So where is the tribe of uh, Samaria on this on this uh, chart right here? I guess right. it wouldn't matter because Jesus nullified that. He said, he "All right, what, Revelation it. seven. Did somebody can get that." Revelation 7. He says it to her in John 4. You know I don't know, I know what you're talking about. You know the scriptures. Okay. But what we're telling you is that, hey, Matthew 10 and, uh, you can quote that. Look, man, let's get, cut to the chase. 10 and 5, all right, Con, I got it. Yeah, uh, Con, go ahead. Yeah, how would, the one you call Jesus only died for the nation of Israel. No, that's not true. That that's is, not, and we'll not, show you, well, we'll show be, you in the scriptures. You might be right, but that's not what he said. Well, that's, well, that's that is what he said. No, that is not what he said. He said it all throughout the gospel. No, he says, he says over and over that whosoever shall come to me and believe well, in my name shall have eternal life and eternal life. Again, Acts, Acts 2 and 21. Which is the entry to the kingdom. Get Acts 2 and 21. Paul said, though. Well, we'll get to Paul. That's the cutter right there. He ain't ready for that yet. Paul said the same thing that whosoever shall come to me. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. This is what you're saying, right? Acts 2 and 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, right? That's what you're quoting, right? It says, "Ye men of Israel." So that crowd he was addressing was but all. But this Israelite. doesn't—that doesn't just happen right there. 
It happens all throughout the New Testament to Jews, Gentiles, and, why? and pagans. Why? You had you had what you call the dysphoria. Where the, the, the Israelites scattered. Yeah, I know the, scattered. the dispersion. The yeah, dispersion. Yeah. You have what you call a Hellenistic Jew. Do you know what a Hellenistic Jew is? Exactly. What is a Hellenistic Greek, Jew? Greekanized Jew. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. So, when Paul went to speak to a Greekanized Jew, they didn't know the law. Right. So, he was telling them, he was speaking to them right. as Gentiles. But they were Gentiles because they didn't know who they were. But they was lineage wise, they were Israelites. Paul also spoke the same words to his captors in Rome, however, who were pagan. Any, anybody he spoke the word to, going to uh, the scriptures and saying it was for you, that was that was Israelites. It's, now, when you read Malachi 3 and 6. That's just not true when he goes to Rome. Okay, let's get that. Let's go to Romans 9 and 1. Well, let's go into Rome. Let's go to and, the and book of Romans. It wouldn't really matter because Jesus said... Well, let's see what the book of Romans said. Let me ask you. When you read the Bible, do you look up any of the meanings of the word? Of course I Because you're using words like Gentiles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the word of Gentile. I know you you think it means stranger. No, we don't but there's also... Don't hey, he said the same thing to the Gentiles, which even if it wasn't the spirit of Jews, he said that same exact thing to pagans. Hey, sir, sir. Let's read. Let's read Romans nine. You said Romans, see, because he went to Rome, right? Let's see what Romans nine say. Romans nine. You want to Can you explain? One? Yeah. Let's explain this. In the middle of Romans, not the end. Okay, let's right. read. Let's Romans read. It. Okay. Uh, it says, "I say the truth, and I'm gonna say Christ, right? I lie not. My conscience also bring me witness in the Holy Ghost." that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Do you know what kinsmen mean? Yeah, people of your family, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloodline. According to the flesh, but Bl blood. To speak. Can you read the part about the spirit again? No, keep like reading. Again? I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep on reading. No, can you read that part again? Oh. Like what you just read to me? It says, I lie not, my conscience also brand me witness in the Holy Ghost. Right. And then he also says, so the Holy Ghost is something separate from the lineage of the flesh. And that's what Jesus was pointing to. Well, here go the thing, man. When what? you're going to it. Keep, keep reading, man. <laughs> He reads. Uh, he's trying four. to get around it. Go ahead. It says, "Who are Israelites?" No, no, no. Go ahead. What? Who are Israelites? Who are what? Who are Israelites? Go ahead. To whom pertaineth the adoption? Right. This, this and the glory. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm saying that's the dispersion bringing yeah. those who's scattered. And that's correct. That's correct. That's right. Go ahead. It says, "And the glory." Right. And the covenant. Yep. So the kingdom of heaven, the law. Everything. Go ahead. Uh, and the giving of the law, and the service of God, and the promises. So why would it say that if it was for everybody? There would be no reason for him just to exclude the Israelites only yeah, to well, separate the them. Of God, it's the only ones who can serve the, the, the Most High. Right. Okay. Are the Israelites? That's right. why the Scripture is saying that. Well, right. The only ones Paul, that can serve as well. Guys, come on. Why does Paul in Ephesians and Corinthians open it up to everyone, just as Jesus did in John? Do you know who translated the New up? Testament? Do you have any idea? Oh, you're trying to like the Catholic Church and because oh, the Roman Catholicism. They was they was trying to put it, bring a so-called monotheism religion. So yeah. they use the Roman Catholics use that far as uh, to dominate and control all the religions by putting in for all men, yeah. for all mankind. Well, so you're yeah. telling, the Gentiles. You're tell, you're reading from the exact. You're you're making your case on the exact same thing that you said has been manipulated by the Let's Romans. get the definition then. So because, you prove yourself because I'm going to show you. you I'm going to explain to you. Okay, all right. You have what you call the English language. You ever heard uh, of homophones? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sound, words that spell, yeah, spell the same, yes, yes, but they have different meanings. Yeah. Yes, Gentiles is one of those words. Yep. Gentile mean heathen. Gentile mean lost, stranger. And I got news for you. In the Mormon faith, they believe Gentiles is anybody you know, who's non-Mormon. Non Did you know, you know that? Root, do you know what the root word of Gentile is? The very basic element of it. What's it, the root? G-E-N. Right. What does that mean? Genus. It means people. It means all people. It doesn't mean it's all people. Land, it's we just read Romans 9 and 1. No, that, that word. That doesn't mean all people. Uh, it, well, I'm just telling you the exegetical meaning of that word from the language of which it came. That word, that like word, that word, that word come from the is, Latin gentilius. That word, that word is Latin. It means gentilius. No. Which means stranger gentilius or foreigner. Is, gentilius is makeup. 
The look up the word. Let's look it up. Sir, the first root word is Le gen. Let's look it up. G E N. Let's look it up. Okay, well. Look up Gentile. What does We're going to show you. What does Gen mean? Right here. Go ahead. Uh, James What's 1 and Gentilius, 1. man. It says, uh, James, right, a servant of God and of the Lord. I'm going to say Jesus Christ because yeah, his name is Yahweh Shah. Okay? It says, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greet So he just said, when Paul opened up the letters, he, agreed, he greeted everybody in the world. But why did when James opened up, he greeted to the 12 tribes? Right. Right. And so that James was a, a direct servant of the Lord. He was a, he was a, a disciple, an apostle of the Lord, uh, what well, you call Jesus Christ. Okay, he was only sent and commanded to go to the 12 tribes of Israel. I got Gentiles okay. right here. Now, uh, if I can you, say this, Paul, Paul, okay, Paul's uh, job was to go to the Israelites, okay, that didn't know that they was Israelites, that was calling themselves Gentiles, that was calling themselves Greek, you know, or, or Roman, or whatever the case may be, or uh, in today's day, let's forward to today, America, uh, Negro, uh, West Indian. Instead of calling yourself these names, you're from the tribe of Judah. You're from the tribe of West Indian, uh, uh, Benjamin. Okay. Right. right. Now, these are the Gentiles right here that Paul. Went we to. we were Gentiles. Right. Yeah. Right. Because in America we was calling ourselves all kind of names. And what, the one scripture say you were once Gentiles, carried away. Oh, that was that Second yeah. Corinthians. Yeah. Yeah. We were once Gentiles. Uh, um, get Tobit thirteen and three in the Apocrypha, man. Right, I got you. If you can get Tobit thirteen and three, we'll show you uh, um, what the Book of Tobit said. What you're trying to do? Did, okay, who was the law given to you originally? Moses. To who? Who did the Lord give? The, the Lord, gave, it's not the law of Moses, I mean, but the Lord gave the law to Moses to give to who? Yeah, the Israelites. The God. Israelites. I told what does Malachi 3 and 6 say? For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, what is the last? Right. Can you, can somebody read me the very last paragraph? Of, of what? Of Malachi. The okay. last stanza of Malachi, the last lesson, the last thing that he says. Before okay, before Christ. you get there, hey, read Tobit 13 and 3. Hey, he's supposed to come up with his own. Yeah. All right, 13 and 3. So, Tobit 13 and oh, 3. To Tobit right. or Malachi? Tobit. This is Tobit 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles. Right. Ye children of Israel. Yep. For he have scattered us among them. Why what? Do you, why did you keep saying For what? For he <laughs> has scattered us ab among Read them. Read that again, huh? This is Tober. Let's see the word Gentiles. Now, is this talking about other nations? Go ahead. 13 and 3. Confess him before the Gentiles. Before the Gentiles. Ye children of Israel. Now, this is talking about the other Gentiles. Go ahead. For he has scattered us among them. He scattered the Israelites amongst the Gentiles. Correct? It originally started with 12 tribes. These 12 tribes were dispersed and scattered and even through slavery. Now, according to the Bible, who fits the prophecy in the, uh, uh, according to the Bible? Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. But gentlemen, you're getting hung up on the word Gentile because that's not what it no, means. No, you're the one who's getting hung up. Well, we're looking it up. Get the no, zone of it. Who got you, it? I told you. Who the, got the it? The Latin root word of it is You got to tell us that. Because we the, Latin, the, the Latin word for Gentile is Gentilius. No, no, no. Right no, no. The, Go ahead. Word, the root word of Gentilius. that word is Gen. Usually it means a non-Israelite people. Now, why would it say usually? Let me ask you something, man. Where, where is sure. your piece of documentation? Well, you can prove of, of what that you it's made. In, it's so in his heart. Do you understand? It's in, it's in your heart, baby. We just pulled out 10, 15 right, scriptures. This, I got something for him, right? This is, uh, this is uh, in the book of Ephesians, right? The book of Ephesians 2 and 11. It says, Wherefore remember that you being in time past Gentiles in the flesh who are called uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands. Okay. That at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel. No, now, when when uh when what do what do America call it? A uh, 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 immigrant, uh, 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 an alien. 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 They call them aliens. Right. Okay. The Mexicans, which this is their land. Okay. The so-called Mexicans, they say that they're aliens. You know, to America, which is just this whole entire, uh, you're not an American citizen. Right. You know? But just because the so-called white man established this world, 
okay? What's left with you, you get co confounded on, right. okay? The world that the so-called white man set up co compared to the world that the Lord set up. Because right. in Isaiah 45 and 17, it says, what you was going the, into. A world without end. A world without, without end. end. Yep. That's a homophobe. Right. You right. know? Different that's world. The world, world, it has different meanings. Yep. You, right. you think it from the, the perspective of this world that is from the, from the white man's point of view. Instead of from the, the Lord's point of view, what he told the children of Israel, what they're going to be going through, going under the curses as far as being under slavery, under the so called white man, and mm -hmm. being called a proverb and a byword, okay? Right. You gotta pay for that. That's right. That's the bottom line. I'm you got John 11. Somebody get um, Romans 9:24. Uh, because uh, since he goes into Romans, Romans 9:24, uh -huh. also get hold, get that and hold Hosea oh, that 1 and 10. Okay. Go ahead. Is that, is that what this is about, guys? This is about scriptures. This is about no, truth. Is it about truth. Vengeance We're speaking about rightfully divine. Yes, yeah, about vengeance. Isn't that according it's to the scriptures? scriptures. Let's get second. Uh, look, let's get the scriptures. Second Thessalonians. Like has an on Sec your heart? Second Thessalonians one and six. Hey, that's a little bit more. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yeah, we yeah, read scriptures, man. Yeah, yeah. Do you do you feel more free or less free? Hey, here man? we go. We less free. <laughs> and strangers from the covenants of promise oh. yep. having no hope and without God. In uh oh. The uh oh. Uh oh. Strangers from the fact that you're an Israelite. Okay. What is the promise that the Lord is going to subdue his our enemies under our feet? Okay. That's a part of the promise. The word promise goes back to the word guarantee. Okay. So the Lord guaranteed that we're going to be the rulers on this planet again. That's right. You that's looking right. at your future rules right here. Right, right, right. That's right. That's right. And this is John 11 and 31. That's, that's not our wow. words. That's the Lord's words. And it's, a, it's precious to be in this room. Right. It says, and this faith, he not of himself, but being high priest that year. Hold on. Here we go. Prophesied that, I'm going to say Jesus, okay. should die for that nation. Yep, that and nation. And 52. Yep. And not for that nation only, yep. but that also he should gather together in one the children of God that were scattered abroad. Uh-oh. That nation is the Israelites. That's all he died for. Well, now when Christ says that I died for all men. Who's the all men? Every what Bible are you reading? We're reading the King James. That, not that That's NIV. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. yeah, you, yeah, he he only died up. for the Israelites. Get 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 Amos Amos three and one. First uh, Corinthians six and nine. <laughs> Uh, all right. I don't know. First, hey, scriptures that come to yeah, me. Amos 3 and 1. We'll, we'll see who God can. Let's go to Yahweh, the one you call God. That's what he said, man. You know, I can say this. If right. the point, what's the point of the, the uh, lake of fire? Right, right. You know, who the Lord is going to destroy if everybody can be saved? Right. You Christians are finished, man. Right. That church you used to set up to enslave our people, keep us on crack, heroin, and keep us stupid, keep us it's on finished. Jesus. But you know, guys aren't what, Jews. Jews. Yeah, we are Jews. We're not from we are the, the tribe of Benjamin. What tribe are we from? You're then? not from the tribe of Judah. What tribe, what tribe are we from? So You're not from the tribe of Benjamin. What tribe are we from? You are Edomite. Who else? Amos That's what you are. I've already heard that. Can he name that? You're going to hear it again. What tribe are we from? You came to the wrong camp, man. What tribe are we from? You're from your nations in Africa. You're not from the tribe of Benjamin. What nation? You're Africa in the Bible. Hey, if you want to get technical, that landmass where Jerusalem is, if you want to get technical, that's was Jesus was a, was Jesus the one you call Jesus? Was he a so-called black man? Was he a black man or a white man? Was Jesus a so-called black man or a white man? He was a Hebrew man. Right. Was he so-called black or white? He came in the flesh, right? He was brown. Where was he brown? Where did that say that in the scriptures? He was Jew. Everybody was. Well, he wasn't Jew brown. Where, where, okay, a so-called brown. But where? But he was not a white man. So what nation he was he from? African man. He, no, he wasn't. But what nation was he from? He was a Hebrew Israelite. He was a so-called Negro. No, okay? he wasn't. How do you know? He didn't look like you. He didn't look. Yes, like he him. did. He, he looked like him. Like he looked like, 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 like him. His complexion. Yeah. So, so wait. So you guys think? He said okay, he, no, he, he said he was. We don't. We don't, we don't think we know. You think that the ancient Jews look like? He said he's a bronze. As if it burned in the sun. One inside. One inside. One inside. Can say this, right? Do you know about 70 A.D.? Oh, you're right. in the room. In the spirit. That's the all right. And okay. Yeah, yeah, what, 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 what do it say? When you Google, it says yeah, that the the, the 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 Jews, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Look up the scripture okay, where it says. Uh, this Psalm verse, one and five. Okay, Song of Solomon one and five. And it was it was um it was um 
Jews or three million Jews? Okay, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that went to the western parts of Africa. I think it's a German. That's all the 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 Israelites did. They went to the western parts of Africa. Okay, Judah, Benjamin, and Levi that went to the western parts of Africa. That's how that's how the the Israelites went over there. And then when you go deeper into the history, okay, the so-called white man when they brought the the Hebrews over here, what did they call them? They called them Hebrews. Okay, Ebo. Ebo. You know, which goes back to Hebrews. So the so-called white man knew who they was going after. The, the Lord set up the, 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 the Edomites, okay, which that was always from the very beginning, to right. set up our people to go into uh, slavery. Right. That's why when you go, you called it uh, Second Thessalonians. One and six. Uh, uh, I was thinking about the second chapter, when it says that come okay. falling away first. Right, right, right. When our right. people were going to slavery under the so-called white man, that's the beginning of our people going through the curses because we didn't listen to what the Lord said. And by the way, sir, you are racist, man. You the racist one. Because it's hard for you to believe when we telling you he a black man, you're saying no. Normally they say he's everybody. Let's read Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Let's see what the Jews look like. Judah mourneth. Judah from the tribe of Jew. Go ahead. Judah mourneth in a great style of language. Right. They are black unto the ground. Wait, say that again. They are black unto the ground. Can you explain that? What? Go ahead. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Read it again. Judah mourneth and a gangster of language, they are black unto the ground. Can you explain that? That means spiritually or the skin? He said, look, Song of Solomon 1 and 5, I'll quote it. Like, he know. said, my skin is black yeah, yeah. upon me. Okay. What does that mean? Can you read that part of Solomon? He got something so, else for you. What you want, you want him to read that? I, I just quoted yeah, it to hey, you. Hey, you, this you know? is a perfect scripture. Bring that uh, read that, read it out. It's Amos 3 and 1. Uh-oh, he got a, a sword cutter. Uh, hear this word that the Lord have spoken against uh -huh. O children of Israel against the whole family which I brought up it from the, the land of Egypt. The whole family, not the whole religion. Because when the Lord delivered the Israelites from out of Egypt, he didn't deliver Christians and Mormons, he delivered or families. Pagans. Okay? Like he kept saying. Keep going, keep going, Art. Keep going. Oh. Keep going. Say, you only have, I know, of all the families of the earth. You only ever known of all the families of the earth. Go ahead. Therefore I will punish you for all your iniquities. So you believe those Jews over in Israel are the real Jews, the real Israelites? Do you believe that? Yeah. Somebody got to be the Israelites. Be Who are they? No, I'm not. I just don't know what to say. Yeah, yeah see? Like, you don't know. Like, speak, he overspeaks over top of well, me. Because, well, because what is it? You don't want it. Yeah, this how right. we okay. men up right. here. Yeah, so every answer you, I try to give, I'll be ridiculed. You ain't give an answer. answer. Go ahead. The Song of Solomon 1 and 5. Uh-oh, can you explain this, sir? Uh -oh. Song of Solomon 1 and 5. I am black. What? I am black. Uh-oh, is this Song of Solomon saying he's black? I am black but comely. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ye daughters of Jerusalem. Right. As the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Right. Okay. Could, okay, so can you explain that scripture? Yes, I can. Man. Okay, explain it. I'm at a loss. I'm at a you can't explain it. Yeah. Another Christian gets um, cut, man. That, Come uh, on, man. When, uh, in Exodus, when the, when, uh, the Lord told uh, Moses, put his hand in his bosom, uh -huh. and then it came out white, and then he said put it back in, and it came back to the right color. It didn't right. come out black. It came out, if it came out white, <laughs> right. you know, you're missing the point, man. Right. You know? Then he just put out many scriptures that the, the, the tribes of Israel are black, you know? And first off, here go the thing, right? We're not up here on no black and white thing either. That's right. That's what you, your, your people, your point of view of life my is. Pe my people? Yeah. It sounds like you're racist. Not Yo, so how are you a racist? Like you. How am I racist? So Cause cause I said you know, I'm going to tell you how you're racist. How? Because it was hard for you to believe that Jesus was a so-called Negro. Yeah. No. Right. But you're claiming he wasn't. Right. I know without a doubt he was a, just brown. He's a Hebrew. He's not an African. Right. Well, he, that's over in that nation. That's over in that area, right? No, it's not. The Middle Jerusalem. East is here and right. They're still in that area. He, he wasn't African. And Europe is here just as So do you away. think we're Africans? So you can make you the think, same case. Do you think we're African? What? Do you think we're African? Yes. No, you, so you think, so we put, where are we putting our faces up cows' asses, man? Oh, you think the white man's, you think, you know how they do over there. Who's the you think, hold on, hold on. You think the white man civilized us, enslaved us, and civilized us, and made us who we were? No. So how the hell are we Africans? Africans don't act like us. Some of our people are African. That's over in West Africa. We went down into West Africa 
and from West Africa, we was brought into slavery. We were sold by one dark nation to another nation, right? Yeah. Those, those Arabs that's in 7-Eleven, guess what? They darker than me and all of us. Yeah. But it would never call itself a Negro though, right? Yeah. So it has nothing to do with skin color, it's a nationality. Yeah. The Hamitic Africans sold the Negro Hebrew slaves into slavery. Did you, you know that? I got that, I got it. Oh, no. Definition of Ham. Go ahead. The youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood, right. and one of eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark you know races. What progenitor mean? Yeah, the father. Okay. The okay. progenitor of the dark races, not the Negroes. What? Not the Negroes. The dark races, not the Negroes. How come every time it comes down to so-called African American, it's a color issue? Yeah. But any other time, it don't have nothing to do with the color. And if I can say this, because he can be from Africa and call himself, and live in America and call himself Well, they got, they got Edomites in Africa. Yeah, I'm from Africa. They call themselves Africa. So, so, the thing is that Africa has many different nations, okay? Which the so-called white man, which he doesn't have to understand, that's where the book of our value comes into play. None of the 